terms of thinking about focus uh, around around content, and you're you're talking about digital experiences. How do you feel like companies should balance content, uh, organic content, with um, sort of like paid content, or like expanding the reach of their existing content? and scaling that with paid? Those are a couple different questions there, I think. So from expanding the reach, I I think reach is actually more important than content creation itself. And I've certainly been guilty of this in in my past. Um, So, you know, I I don't feel bad about saying this at all because anyone can get sucked into it, but people get sucked into creating a lot of content and completely forgetting about distribution. And if you don't, have ways of getting it out and getting it out to different channels because not everybody goes to the same place. It doesn't matter if you ever created that content in the first place. So, you know, I really try and drive my teams towards thinking about distribution, getting into the channels where our audience actually lives, where do they do their learning, all of those kind of of questions. And then sort of work your way backwards to the content itself. What kind of content do I have to create to answer the questions that people have out there? And that can also, I think, help with that backlog of I have to create a billion pieces of of content this quarter. You don't. Maybe you just have to create three, three or four really insightful pieces of content, but find different ways of cutting it up for different kinds of, of consumption. So that i i think is is the way i think about it and that kind of leads into that mix between organic and paid you have to understand where your audience is and i i think a lot of people lately you know chris walker um from refine labs and and he's moved on now to his next venture but you know he's talked a lot about how people just dump money in the hopes that they are going to get somebody who's in market um, and is going to to come down. And the sort of flip to that is, you know, Rand Fishkin has talked about the attribution conundrum there, where if you go after a certain type of paid or or certainly around paid search and and lower um, funnel terms, you're getting people who are going to find you anyway, right? So you're spending money to get people who are already looking for you. And that doesn't make sense. So, you know, I like to think about getting into the channels where the people are, making sure you're answering the questions that they're answering, starting with organic and and seeing what works, and then using paid to, especially if you're, uh, you know, an earlier stage company and you don't have the name recognition yet, or a message isn't getting into a channel because you haven't previously been active in the channel, whatever the case may be. That's where paid, I think, can really supplement and and push you over that sort of hump, that barrier to get to the next level. Yeah, and, and that can be super effective, but you don't want to lead with paid in my mind. 